welcome friends to another video so in this video i will be showing you how to install elasticsearch on centos os that to 7 plus like greater than 7 um, centos so so what is elastic stack i think elastic is a, um, a part of elk famous elk stack elk means uh, e means uh, elastic search basically and b in the log stash that comes behind are the bits they push the filters the process the data together to elastic search and the kibana the k is the kibana elastic is like as you can see from the elk stack uh, the search engine or analytical engine log stash is the server side data processing pipeline that ingests the data from multiple sources like from multiple bits it can process and um, um, you know filters the data to uh, elastic and elastic can uh, um, pass it to the kibana with the help of kibana you can just um, visualize your data nicely with uh, so much of uh, easily configurable uh, dashboards graphs charts tables filtration everything you can also query the elk query uh, from uh, from the gui itself so this is the kibana window that it looks like so we'll be um, what is the kibana has i think uh, as you can see you can see you know tons of uh, graphs for your easy visualization and uh, geo geological specific geo charts also is there time series data you can see and it has also very interesting is this machine learning you can detect the any hidden anomalies inside your data that to by the use of unsupervised machine learnings so elastic search is the heart of uh, the elk stack so i think that uh, pretty much you can see that it just stores the data from that you can just uh, either uh, the log stash pushes the data by filtering it based upon some pipelines or definitions and uh, and it passes to elastic elastic then um, pushes to not kibana kibana then pulls the data from elastic search and then you can visualize you this is the complete set so like trio elk trio that uh, does the magic so we'll be seeing how to install elastic shots kibana search as well as log stash in the subsequent videos so in this video i'll be focusing on uh, installing um, the elastic search that one sent us os so i'll just do the uh, i will download the um, rpm manually so provided that you should be a root user or if not you should get uh, pseudo access to couple of commands like rpm bi cp and that kind of couple of commands you should get the um, pseudo access otherwise you can become best uh, best part is become a root if you have root access then duplicate it duplicate will just download the rpm to your local machine um, that's pretty quick depending upon the because the size is not that much so then after that you can just uh, download the, the what is called verification key that is the encryption key so whether that the pack you can validate whether the package is you know you can do the checksums whether the package is not corrupt i think you get the correct package by doing a shasam like that other um, like 512 uh, bit uh, encryption they can you can just verify and after that there you go either you can do rpm hyphen install or you can do hyphen ivh in verbose mode and you can just uh, to type the elastic search that rpm name once you type that it will just install it creating um, the elastic search group user and then installing installing in the default location and there you go and it has created a key store in your where you can put your uh, key stores for you know http secure access or that kind of um, sort okay let's see whether the rpm what is rpm uh, it's better to check whether it's installed or not i happen query the rpms and then grip it elastic yes there you go whatever you have, it's installed whatever the package that you have dilated i want whatever the package you intend to do okay let's go to the default configuration that we have what is the default configuration this one like um, that yml elastic search yml um, i'll uh, try to do a vim diff with my configuration that i have already changed it 
for this machine specific because there are a couple of local host and other port that I want I would like to change it so I just and also a couple of paths like where the data path and the log where the it would like to write the log because I don't want to you know fill up the what is called Linux paths uh, that is the machine paths I want to use a network drive so that uh, the size and uh, everything is like uh, huge okay let's copy that so it's uh, enabled I could not find it I could not read the VMD properly due to the color uh, difficult color coding so I think I can uh, walk you through the couple of minor changes I have done I have not done it for performance specific and this is for testing purpose I've done that so there you can see that uh, yeah network host I have changed and look at transport host and the transport uh, TCP dot port is 9300 and the default port is 9200 and that's it once you do that then you can just do a service stat how to do it so service elastic shots then start or do a status or I think is it the way that we can start it I think so mm, I think uh, it's inactive currently uh, mm -hmm. okay let's try it one more time let's try to start it the status was inactive I believe it is not properly shut down that's why it's saying inactive or disabled okay hmm how come it's taking that much of time without uh, um, giving us okay there you go I got error oh boy it got failed what did I do mm -hmm. I think this is not the command that we should we should use the system control start elastic search dot service I think that service is disabled so I'll just enable that in a moment okay there you go you can just you can use system com control start then elastic service once you do that it will start the service in the back end so for checking the service whether it is running or not you can just do ps hyphen aef process and then pipe grape elastic once you do that you can see that uh, this is the process and uh, these are the par default parameters and the uh, log files config file and what are the other parameters that it has taken so this is there so how to verify that let's do a call then HTTP that machine name colon 922 once you do that or you can also use a browser and uh, verify this URL so you should get this JSON format with the proper version okay there you go thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos uh, to for have a elk stack um, hands on and yeah there you go so they can learn together bye bye